People often ask me, how do you tell the difference between a hydrothermal breccia and all the other types of breccias? And it's a pretty important question because hydrothermal breccias can very often be ore deposits and most of the other types of breccias aren't. To answer that question, you really have to answer the question, what exactly is a hydrothermal breccia? And in the strictest sense, a hydrothermal breccia is a breccia that resulted by breaking rock from the release of hydrothermal fluid pressure. And that's actually a pretty difficult thing to determine. You're trying to make a guess about how that rock was fractured. And that's not an easy thing to do when all you've got is the resulting breccia. Rocks can get broken to form breccias by all kinds of different processes. Hydrothermal explosions, erupting volcanoes, moving faults, talus creep, and undersea debris flows, just to name a few. So how do you know which ones are hydrothermal? My most useful criteria is to look at what's the infill minerals. If the fragments are cemented together with just hydrothermal infill minerals, quartz, calcite, sulphide, then there's a pretty good chance that that breccia was formed by an explosive release of hydrothermal fluid. And in fact, the best ones have multiple explosive releases and that generates a lot more space to get infilled by the hydrothermal minerals, particularly sulphides. Having hydrothermal infill in a breccia is a good start to identify a hydrothermal breccia, but another clue is alteration. If all of the fragments have strong hydrothermal alteration, then there's a pretty good clue that the hydrothermal fluid has been through that rock. It doesn't necessarily mean that the breccia was generated by hydrothermal fluid, but it's a damn good start. At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. The thing that matters is how much open space is there in the breccia and has a hydrothermal fluid accessed that space because that's what forms ore deposits. To me, it doesn't really matter how the rock got broken. That's an academic question. The thing is, did it leave enough space and did a hydrothermal fluid get in there to fill it up with ore minerals? 